Hi, everyone. I'd like to welcome you here today. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started looking at the accounting and finance majors. Um, I'm Roz Novoselsky. I'm a special instructor in accounting. So I'm going to go through the accounting major with you. And then Professor Chang will be the one who will help us with the finance um, component. So when we're looking at accounting, um, you know, I, I teach a lot of the intro courses and I always tell my students, we really have to focus on not that you're going to be an accountant or anything, but a business professional, because a business professional is the one that tells the story of the business through accounting, because it helps us record and identify that information that is evaluating the business. So it really helps tell the financial story of the entity. Um, and finance um, actually has two basic parts um, or subfields, uh, corporate finance and uh, investment. In corporate finance, we actually uh, study how, uh, what kind of uh, uh, decisions that the companies would make, um, such as um, capital budgeting um, or the use of stocks and bonds and um, dividend policies and mergers and acquisitions. And how do the managers uh, make these uh, decisions? And in investments, um, we actually study the financial markets and the financial instruments that are traded in the market. We study uh, how we can value these financial instruments such as stocks and bonds. And if we look at some of the requirements and some of these will of course overlap as you start out through the general education requirements, you're gonna be looking at things like your freshman and sophomore years where you're studying the arts and literature, uh, Western civilization, for instance, your science requirements. And some of the times you're going to bring bring some of those in through you know testing through high school programs and such, um, and then we're looking at things the pre-core that we're focusing on that will give you that platform to start developing your skills for your business core are things like the writing and communications, um, your calculus and math courses. You'll be taking some of the econ courses, stats, and the accounting principles that I mentioned earlier. Um, some of the business pre-core classes will then feed into these that you're going to start building for your core components of the business study. So things like the finance and marketing, um, you'll look at deeper economic theories, um, operations management, your org behavior management studies. And then if you choose the accounting major, some of the things that you'll be incorporating in your accounting course structure will be the intermediate accounting, um, advanced accounting concepts, which is going to look at like business and consolidation, cost accounting, which is very helpful if you're going the corporate route. Um, it's the managerial focus of accounting to teach you how to use the internal information of a corporation. Um, government accounting, everyone needs federal income tax, although you got to be careful how, how much you share that information this time of year, you'll be really, really busy with your friends. Um, accounting systems and auditing. And then the finance courses, I'll let Professor Chang talk about. Yeah, we also cover a wide a variety of uh, finance uh, courses, including the corporate finance um, and investment, financial modeling, financial markets and institutions, and um, also real estate uh, finance. Um, financial uh, derivatives. So the students are equipped with knowledge and analytical skills they need in both corporate finance and uh, investments. Um, and also to cater to the demand, increasing demand in the uh, financial advising industry, we have uh, recently added a concentration or specialization in wealth management as well. So they will also learn about uh, the tax planning and estate planning, et cetera. One of the things that really sets Oakland University apart is our accreditation process. We have the elite accreditation. We're one of only five schools in the um, uh, state of Michigan to have both the accounting accreditation as well as the business accreditation through the AACSB. And basically what that organization does is it's a body that comes to visit campuses and they monitor us for making sure that we're providing the top quality education that's expected both in the business profession and throughout the educational um, system to be recognized with this accreditation. So it's a very rigorous 
um, standard that we meet, and we're very proud to have both the accreditation in our accounting as well as our business program. And some of the um, things that I can tell you with this accreditation, um, having been through the process, is a team will actually come on campus, they'll meet with us as instructors, they, they talk about our curriculum, they make sure that our curriculum reflects what is being presented that's being needed within the actual job market. And also uh, because uh, our finance curriculum covers a large proportion of the level one uh, CFA exam. So we actually have the privilege to join the CFA Institute uh, University Affiliation Program. And um, the CFA Institute is the global association of investment professionals. That's, that's the industry gold standard. Um, and because we are part of the university application program, so our students actually um, have the chance to obtain scholarships from the CFA institu Institute when they take the level one exam. Now you can see from this lovely picture, <laughs> hopefully we're all able to be there in person soon. But one of the most beautiful things I think about being at Oakland is just the great mix that we have of both our structures as well as that green space. And I personally am not a golfer, but I know that as soon as I say Oakland University, people that golf are like, oh, can you get me on the course? Because our courses are, are quite incredible. Um, the rec center is just a, a very um, beneficial resource to students, both even through the pandemic, with the um, virtual classes that they've offered. We have the outdoor um, program where you can actually work out with different, it's like a campus yard that they have that's really cool. So we have a lot of beautiful facilities, um, both in the housing, there are two brand new dorm buildings that were recently opened. Uh, one opened right before the pandemic. So check out the campus if you've not done so already. It's just a really beautiful place to grow. Um, we've also uh, added in the business data analysis lab in our business uh, building, and we have the Bloomberg uh, terminal. We have uh, actually 12 uh, Bloomberg terminal in storage in the business uh, lab, and the students have the, um, the opportunity to actually get the Bloomberg certification, which is well received by employers. And we also offer a student management investment fund class and the students are involved in uh, making actually investment decisions for the uh, fund. And this is a partnership with uh, Krasicki Foundation. And uh, in the department, we offer more than 40 uh, scholarships to our students. And these are merit-based scholarships for high-performing uh, students and also students who play active roles uh, in the student organizations. And the school also offers peer-to-peer uh, -peer academic assistance to some of the core courses. Our program has, in the undergraduate level, we have 300 plus undergraduates in our accounting and finance that um, we award our, our bachelor's certificates to, or degrees to each year. Um, in the master's program, I would say that we have typically 60 plus graduates um, we've, we've earned designations such as the Best Value School. Um, the Princeton Report has recognized us continuously in each of their evaluations as well. Some of the things that I think Oakland does extremely well, and I think it sets us apart from other, other um, universities in the area. I, I've taught at other universities. I can strongly say that I've not seen anyone do quite this level of work with students and connection with students than what we do here. Um, some of the organizations that you'll find, Beta Alpha Psi, which is a honorary um, fraternity for those students that are high achievers. We have the National Association of Black Accountants. And this one I'm per personally connected with, I can tell you some of the involvement that we have um, the Oakland Accounting Student Information Society, or we call it OASIS. OASIS has a weekly meeting on Thursdays, and in that meeting, it's a one-hour meeting from noon to one. Students are able to come in, and we do this virtually now as well, but everything is, is handled with our speakers, and it's been a seamless process. Um, basically, they invite 
the hiring decision makers, if we want to be frank, the people that are going to be looking for the talent. It isn't just someone that had a few minutes free and they're going to come in and talk to students about what it might like, you know, be like in the day of work. These are partners that are from some of the big four accounting firms. Um, many of them are OU alum and they have a very strong connection and they want to see our students succeed. They bring that information in and they let you know exactly what it is like to be a professional, how to grow yourself and the steps that you need to take. And as I said, these meetings are offered every Thursday throughout the entire fall and winter um, semesters. They have just a wonderful interactive networking forum for students to get involved, get your face there, let people know who you are and understand what those, those fields are like and what types of things you can expect. And then for our master students, they have a master of accounting student organization which um, this is more student-based to allow students to have an ability to go through and network and build those relationships with each other. Um, one of the things that we do as far as networking opportunities, there are career fairs that are offered both in the fall and the winter. Um, there is, hopefully we'll be having this this year, um, an accounting golf outing. Um, so imagine this, if you're a student, um, doesn't mean you have to be able to golf, but you just need to be able to walk the course, so to speak. Um, you're out there and you're golfing with these partners, these managers that are going to be hiring. And you're able to interact with them one on one in a day of fun, be able to just ask them questions freely about their experiences and really build that relationship. And then the other thing that I think is very beneficial for our students is the accounting recruiters reception that we do. Again, we offer those both in the fall and the winter. And this is where we have a consortium of all the firms that are looking to bring students in through internships, um, full-time positions. They come and they meet and students are allowed to go and bring their resumes, present themselves, speak with them and learn about opportunities. Probably 80% of our accounting grade, um, undergraduates are placed before graduation. So that's a really lovely thing to think about. And an even better statistic for us is looking at our MAC program. So these are students that do the um, four plus one where they've done their undergraduate and they go the additional year through the MAC program. 97% of our students that go through that program are placed before they graduate. So how does that feel? I can tell you as the parent of a student that's graduating in the fall or actually the spring, it's a wonderful feeling to know that when you graduate and you cross that stage, you have a job. Um, so we're really excited about that statistic. Most of the time it's students choosing which firm they wanna go with. And that's a really nice, nice problem to have to worry about. Uh, in finance, we also have uh, two very active student organizations, the Financial Management Association and the Society for Applied Investing and Financial Education. This is a student investment club. And, and also we have a good partnership with the CFA Society of Detroit. And we often invite the members to come to talk to our students um, in these uh, meetings. We've just um, held a virtual meeting um, back in February and uh, we encourage the students to also network with the local members as well. And we have a great uh, tradition of holding the Finance Forward series in four semester. This is a three parts event. Uh, we have finance round table where we invite the professionals to come and talk to our students about different uh, careers, career paths in finance. And then we, uh, we, we will hold a finance interview workshop and where we give uh, students the uh, uh, possible uh, questions they might expect in a job interview and also how to dress properly in the interview. We also do mock interviews um, um, for the students. And the final, uh, uh, final part of this event is the Finance Career Link Up. This is like a mini career fair. We bring companies to come to our campus and re uh, recruit. And students have the chance to find um, the opportunities for a real uh, full-time job or an uh, internship at this event. So this is very well received by our students. 
we also have a very good uh, placement in the last few years uh, for our finance students as well. And if you take a look at this screen, it really represents just a segment of those recruiters that we have been working with on campus, but those that we have strong relationships with. One thing in the accounting profession I want to point out that's very unique to Oakland University, given the size of our program, we are one of the um, regional schools that's still recruited by all four of the big four firms. So Deloitte, um, EY, KPMG, um, PwC, as well as regional firms like Plant Moran, Clayton McCurvey, Dora Mayhew, UHY, Raymond, Grant Thornton, BDO, those are all regional firms, but we're very well represented and employers seek our students because they know they have the skills to succeed. And some of our corporate um, accounting positions are usually with Forcia, uh, Borg Warner is a big um, area where we have student internships, especially Blue Cross Blue Shield, we've been working with Quicken Loans. So we have a very strong foundation with those relationships. Now, as a parent, I, I can tell you that when your student asks you, what should I go into when I grow up? What do I wanna be? This would be an area I would tell them to look at. <laughs> Where will you have a job? <laughs> Where will there be opportunities for you to earn and be able to have a life that you've worked for? And when we look at some of the bureau statistics, um, accounting is definitely one of those fields that has growth potential, it has earning potential. And as you can see from some of these standards, the median wage is over, oops, excuse me, there we go, over 68,000 was reported back in May of 16. So this is not necessarily a hiring salary, this is a median salary. But I would tell you that most of the students that are coming out are seeing salaries well above the high 50s and um, probably low 60s for beginning salary positions. So some of the career opportunities that you can find in accounting, um, if you choose to be a CPA, of course, the public accounting, there's also the management accounting um, circuit that you could go through where you're looking more at corporate positions. If you're seeking something government, we have connections where we have recruiting that comes through the IRS, through the FBI has been one I've been working with recently. Um, we have nonprofit accounting segments that you can look at if you're looking for a nonprofit organization. And then a new field that's up and coming and growing is in forensic accounting. And I happen to teach one of the um, fraud courses that's offered for that. So that's a very, very exciting um, area of the profession. These are the possible uh, career paths in finance. Um, so you can work as a financial analyst, a credit analyst, or loan officer uh, in a bank. And you, you can also become a financial advisor in a wealth management firm or a portfolio manager in an asset management firm. Or you can become a mortgage banker in a mortgage company. And uh, students uh, who graduate can also work in the non-financial uh, companies as financial analysts or purchasing officers. And there are also job opportunities at the government agencies, such as the Federal Reserve or the Officer of the Comptroller. And there are opportunities to work for nonprofit organizations as well. For example, you can become a financial analyst at a um, university endowment fund. So some of the requirements to becoming a CPA, we call it the three E's. So education, and you have to have your uh, baccalaureate degree. Um, to sit for the exam, you have to be still, you can sit while you're still taking courses, but you have to have a certain mix of coursework. Um, and then you're gonna need 150 hours in total education to become certified. Then you'll sit for the CPA exam, which contains four parts the auditing and um, attestation, business environment and concepts, the financial accounting and reporting, and the tax and regulation components. So you have to pass those over an 18-month period. 
and the experience requirement. So 2000 hours of qualifying experience. They can be earned in a period not less than one year, but not more than four years. And one thing that's very exciting for students is that most of the time when they're working internships, those hours are going to count toward that professional requirement for the 2000 hours. So we offer a four plus one program. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there is the undergraduate. Um, we have the um, Masters of Accounting, which is another 30 credits. So the combination of those two will give you the 150 hours that you need for certification in the state of Michigan. Um, and our curriculum prepares our students with the knowledge and accounting theory to master the exam and to pass the exam. Uh, we have many accounting students with internships, as I mentioned, that count as that qualifying experience. So many times by the time that they've worked one or two internships and they've gone through the master's program, they start taking their exams before graduation and they're ready to go before they often start their first full-time position. So typically our students are um, very well prepared when we find that they've had four years of high school math. We really look for them to build on their Excel and their word skills. Um, we do have coursework though that will help them develop that. Uh, four years of high school English, and we encourage them to just, most importantly, get involved. Get involved as a student and learn about the profession. 